also to encourage us because they are the first to begin this year, encourage us as we begin this year and that uh, God will go with us along the way. So welcome and feel at Captain TV as we carry on with our program. Brothers, welcome to the studio. Thank you, sister. Thank so you. I welcome Brother Jan Veer to start with a word of prayer as we begin off the program. Karibu. Okay, thank you. Let's pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, our loving Father, we thank you for the gift of this day. We pray and we thank you for more that we have done to us. We ask for your Holy Spirit to enlighten us. As we start this new year, as we start our program, may you be there for us. Send your Holy Spirit to us to enlighten us and to guide us. And whatever you are going to discuss for the betterment of your glory, may it bear fruit in eternal kingdom. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Mary, seat of wisdom, pray, pray for, for us. us in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So, welcome to the studio, brothers. There was a demand. Bring for us the Franciscan brothers. So, whoever was asking, I brought them. <laughs> I hope you're going to make that brother who asked for the Franciscan brothers happy. Yes as you tell them who you are, what you are doing in the society, where are you from is very important. Yes. So, brother, we start with you. Tell us uh, who you are and what is this congregation? Thank you so much, sister, and uh, our dear viewers. Happy New Year. My name is brother, we, we say Ndugu, <laughs> Deoson Tayebwa. I come from Western Uganda, Barara Diocese and the Archdiocese, Holy Family of Nazareth Catholic Parish. And I belong to the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, commonly known as the Like Community. And currently I'm a student of theology at the Catholic University of Eastern Africa, year three. Karibu sana, Brother Dioson, uh, Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. <laughs> yeah, and this is Missions of Hope. Brother. Thank Yale. you, sister. Thank you. Happy New Year to all our viewers and to the entire world who are following us. Um, Ndugu Jean-Vier Kagayo Teophil, Franciscan Missionaries of Hope from... Bukavu Metropolitan Ovira Diocese in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Mm -hmm. Yes, a parish called Our Lady Queen of Peace, Kavimvira. Kavimvira. Yes. Congo Wakondani, your Captain TV. You are welcome, brothers. Thank you, sister. And uh, what we do here is to tell our story, our life, our mission in the society. So maybe you will explain. I know the Franciscan family is huge. So, who are the Franciscan uh, missionaries of hope, and what is unique about you, Brother, Brother Dio? So, the, first of all, I want to say that uh, the Franciscan family is big. It's a big family. Yeah. And uh, we are composed of uh, three orders. We have the first order, the second order and the third order. So the first order is the we have the three congregations that split from the original order of St. Francis. The, the OFM conventions, the OFM minors, and the OFM captain. OFM is order of friars minor. Mm -hmm. So we are not monks, we are friars. Yeah. So the second order we have Maybe the... what is the difference for the sake of the viewer between the friars and the monks? So the monks, you know when Francis came to the scene of history, he was supposed to, to follow the rules of the existing orders, the Augustinians, the Benedictines. Francis did not buy the idea. Mm -hmm. He insisted that God had shown him a different way. And in consultation with St. Clair then, he decided that he was not going to be a monk. And monks are the ones that lived, that live in the monasteries, enclosed. Mm -hmm. So Francis wanted to, he's, actually he says, 
that our cloister is the whole world. Mm -hmm. So he wanted to go out there and belong, reach out to the people, go to the streets, carry out evangelizations, evangelization among the people, mm -hmm. with the people out there. Mm -hmm. So we are active. We, we don't stay inside, we go to the people. And that's why we are friars. Okay. So to, maybe to continue the second order, we have the poor Clares, the, the sisters who were started by St. Clare after he joined Francis. Then after that, all the other congregations come under the third order, mm -hmm. where we belong, where the Franciscan missionaries of hope belong. Now the third order is also divided into two. We have the, the regular and the secular. Mm -hmm. The secular are the lay Franciscans. They live in their families, they live out there, do, go about their work, mm -hmm. but meanwhile following, imitating the spirituality of St. Francis. Mm -hmm. And then the regular is us who live the community life, mm -hmm. but then still go out to evangelize. Okay. Yeah. So maybe, Brother Jan, there, you can add more about that. What is unique about your congregation? You are a third order, yes. Franciscans. Mm -hmm. What is more, because I'm also a Franciscan, but you have your own unique way that identifies you mm -hmm. as the Franciscan missionaries of hope. As Franciscan missionaries of hope, and uh, as we all know, Franciscans are many. Mm -hmm. We have little sisters of St. Francis, like Sister here. Yeah. We have the Franciscan uh, of Mary, Queen of Love, mm -hmm. and so many. But for us, as Franciscan missionaries of hope, what makes us unique with the others is our charism. Mm -hmm. and, and each congregation or each institute has its own charism. Sure. Yes. Mm. Though we might be having uh, the same spirituality of our Seraphic Fathers and Francis, but mm. uh, each one has its own charism. And our charism is all about to give hope. Mm -hmm. Because if we look back at our, at our history of uh, foundations, mm -hmm. yes, our confounders were in the OFM in Zambia. So from there, they were sent away, I can say that, like that, or they were asked to, to leave. Mm -hmm. there, were, there were nine of them. So from there, they came to Kenya mm -hmm. and they stayed together. That was in the year 1993. Okay. Yes, like mm -hmm. 24 years back or uh, many years back. Mm -hmm. So from there, they lived together for some times, but five of them decided to, to leave, to go, mm -hmm. and to continue with their life. So among the the nine, four persevered. Okay. And since they persevered, they came out with, a, with an, an idea mm -hmm. of being together. And that was through the help of the late uh, Archbishop of Nairobi, Ndingi Mwananzeki Raphael. Mm -hmm. So he was visiting them, encouraging them, giving them hope. So actually, and at one point, he told them, you guys... You are just here, you are just together. Why can't you think of starting a, a community or a congregation? Mm -hmm. The four of you. Mm -hmm. So from there, they started. Mm -hmm. But then give, but the, the name was a bit hard to, to get. They were only Franciscans, yes. Mm -hmm. They were in the, in the OFM. But now having a name to, to identify them, it was a, a problem. Mm -hmm. So some were saying... We can be called like this or like that. And some also were saying, yes, we are Franciscan. Even if we were asked to go, mm -hmm. but still we are Franciscans. Mm -hmm. And Francis is our role model mm -hmm. and is our father. Mm -hmm. So from that, deeply to have that name of Franciscan. And since there were four, two Ugandans and mm -hmm. two Kenyans. Mm -hmm. So it was like a, an international community. Mm -hmm. So they, they added the second name missionaries. So they were Franciscan missionaries. Mm -hmm. Now to finish, they were like, since we were the other side in Zambia and we were asked to, to go, but God has been good to us. And since we came back from Zambia here, up to here to Kenya, mm -hmm. at least people around gave us hope. 
the bishop encouraged us to start a community so they appeared to have that name mm -hmm. hope at the end so the, from there it came to be franciscan missionaries of hope so the word hope is our uniqueness to compared to other community mm -hmm. or other congregations okay. and that hope as our charism we transmit it we leave it among ourselves first as brothers as ndugus as we call ourselves mm. then from there we transmit it today to the people of god outside okay yes thank you very much brother janvier brother do you maybe do you mind mentioning because it's important we always mention the names of the founder yours is unique because it has more than one founder but it's good for you to mention them we yeah. we, we actually call them co-founders co-founders yes, okay they are four Hmm. One is uh, Ndugu Kamau, mm -hmm. Ngumi, then Ndugu Nicholas, Onyach, Owino, mm -hmm. who is a, our current superior general, general. Okay. Mm -hmm. and the uh, Ndugu Jogis, Abenawe, and Ndugu John Basima. Who are listening and watching this program, I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> Thank you for persevering. Sometimes that's what you say. Mm -hmm. The stone that was rejected became the cornerstone. Yes. They are the four uh, strong men who persevered and began the congregation that is being represented by the brothers in the studio today. Uh, when I look at you and the way you are dressed, there is some, your code is different from mine. Most of the codes have white, is white in color. Why yes. is yours dark green, something like that? And the, the tau, the, the, the nini of the tau also is green. What does yes, that signify? Yes, so we, as, as brother yeah. Kagayo was trying to explain, yeah. hope, the theological virtue of hope is our unique identity mm -hmm. and it goes deep to to the very foundation of our congregation mm -hmm. so we take the color green as a color of hope okay mm. oh, so okay. to always communicate our identity mm -hmm. that we go out outside into the world to give hope okay yes thank you very much i am sure now uh, the viewer is following and uh, is getting to know who are the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope and where they came from and their journey. I think it's one of the encouraging uh, thing this year and maybe it was the best to start with uh, this uh, year. Hope that uh, when you are blocked from something, that doesn't mean that you cannot go on. When it is the end, it's a beginning of new thing. Uh, because when they were told go home or wherever mm. from yes. Zambia, maybe they could have gone wherever they went, sure. but they pushed on and we can see the fruits of their perseverance and hope. So, and this maybe brings us to the point of how did you come to know <laughs> that you, you can join the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope all the way from Congo and these guys are in Kenya. How did you come to know them? And uh, what is your vocation journey, Brother Janvier? Okay. Uh, first of all, as I said earlier, mm -hmm. I was born in Congo okay. in the year 1996. And uh, I think on Saturday, I'll be celebrating my birthday. Okay. On 13th of January. Mm. Yes. It's a birthday in advance. <laughs> Thank you, sister. Yeah. As I said, I was born in Congo. Raised there, educated there, but uh, in the year 2016, January, we had uh, some conflict around uh, in the country. As you all know, yeah. Congo is mm -hmm. full of war every now and then. Mm -hmm. Yes. So when the war came, actually it was in my area. That's okay. where... Uh, is it Goma or it's Bukavu? Bukavu. Bukavu Uvira. Okay. So Goma and, and Bukavu, we are just the neighbors. Okay. Neighboring Yes. Mm. So from there, I had no option but to, but to run after my life. So alone or with your family? Alone. I was alone. So when the war broke out, I was forced to, to go away. But uh, after that, I didn't know where the family went also because everyone went on, uh, on, his, on, on his own, in her own way. Uh, so from there, it. good enough, I had... Uh, I had a passport mm -hmm. by then, so I traveled to Burundi. Mm 
first mm-hmm. because from Uvira to Burundi just cross and and you enter the country so i was in Burundi like for for one month then from there i had to look where the the refugee camp is okay at least for for my safety yeah. so from there i had some connections then i found my ke- myself here in Kenya in Kakuma refugee camp in mm. Turukana so 2016 March i was in the camp okay yes in the refugee camp so i stayed there uh, i went to Don Bosco Technical Institute i i did graphic and design i did the english language because you know in congo is french is french broken kiswahili and the lingala yeah. yes So up to 2017, 2018, I stayed there. So from there, actually, I had no intention of joining the religious life mm-hmm. because when I was looking back, those who, those who were trying to help the rebels back in the Congo, mm-hmm. they were religious. So that one is, discouraged me a lot. Instead mm-hmm. of bringing people close to God. And they were the one giving away to the rebels to to come in the village and uh, and to attack people so i had no intention at all at all mm-hmm. yes so from there 2018 december you know i was doing decorations during christmas where i was attending mass in the in the parish called good shepherd kakuma parish mm-hmm. kakuma town now yeah. so i was living in the camp but the mass i was attending in kakuma town so yeah. the mutai there Hmm? Pardon? Was Father Mutai there? Yes, Father. No. By okay. then it was Father David Kimayo. Okay. Yes, by then it was Father David Kimayo. Mm-hmm. Then when he went to, to Rome, then Mutai came to replace him okay. as the parish priest. Okay. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I started doing things in the church, helping the youth, the PMC, also training the altar servers. Mm-hmm. So one day I was asked to come to Eldoret. to help one priest who was looking for for a chef mm-hmm. so because also i know how to prepare at least tea <laughs> at least tea yes okay so i was asked to go to eldoret mm-hmm. and help that priest because he had no cook mm-hmm. and also it was a new parish mm-hmm. it was called the singor chaplaincy singor chaplaincy yes, we are going Rosary. to get to know more about that because you are going for a short break uh, when we come back we shall continue with the vocation journey of the brothers in the in the studio you do not want to go away because you want to finish how did the javier join franciscan missionaries of hope keep watching this is caption tv missions of hope Kapuchin TV Ni baraka ntaka kwa Mungu Weli Weli ni mara Weli ni mara ntaka kwa Mungu Weli Weli ni mara Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki No hay que tenerle miedo a la diversidad de carismas en la iglesia. Al contrario, hay que alegrarse de vivir esta diversidad. Ya en las primeras comunidades cristianas, diversidad y unidad estaban muy presentes y era una tensión que debe resolverse en un plano superior. Más aún, para avanzar por el camino de la fe, necesitamos también el diálogo ecuménico con los hermanos y hermanas de otras confesiones y comunidades cristianas. 
no como algo que confunde o que molesta, sino como un regalo que Dios hace a la comunidad cristiana para que crezca como un solo cuerpo, el cuerpo de Cristo. Pensemos, por ejemplo, en las iglesias orientales. Tienen unas tradiciones propias, unos ritos litúrgicos característicos, pero mantienen la unidad de la fe, la refuerza, no la dividen. Si nos guiamos por el Espíritu Santo, la riqueza, la variedad, la diversidad, nunca provocan un conflicto. El Espíritu nos recuerda que ante todo somos hijos amados de Dios. Todos iguales en el amor de Dios y todos diferentes. Oremos al Espíritu Santo para que nos ayude a reconocer el don de los diferentes carismas dentro de las comunidades cristianas y a descubrir la riqueza de las diferentes tradiciones rituales dentro de la Iglesia Católica. Capuchin TV. Forward ever, backward never. Let us move ahead and so on. Even children, kuna kakitu, tunaweza kufanya. Ili, kanisa, iweze kumeta meta. Endelea kutazama. Capuchin TV. Kitambulisho katoliki. Welcome back, dear viewer. The conversation continues. Jean Rie is in Eldoret. What <laughs> happened next? <laughs> yeah, from there. In a nutshell, because uh -huh. time is really yeah. chasing us. Sorry sure. about that. Yeah. So from there, I left Kat Puma, mm -hmm. the camp to Eldoret. That mm -hmm. was now in the year 2019. Mm -hmm. I went to Eldoret and uh, I joined uh, Father Mwaniki Anthony, mm -hmm. who was the, the chaplain, uh, and again the parish priest. Of that chaplaincy, mm -hmm. so I worked with him the whole of 2019. In the beginning of 2020, before Corona oh, came, mm -hmm. he asked me if I can try to to apply around mm -hmm. and see if I can join, because he was so impressed on how I was living with him. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. because when I reached there, he bought even a surplus for me, a castle. So wow. people around, they thought I was a seminarian. Oh. Yes, by mm -hmm. then, mm -hmm. but I was not. Mm. So I tried to, I applied on the, to the Institute of the Apostle of Jesus, mm -hmm. but uh, unfortunately it was under some problems, mm -hmm. so I was not able to to join. I I, I applied uh, to the Contemplative Evangelizers of the Heart of Christ, mm -hmm. but the problem was they were saying like we can't admit you, and still you are in the camp. We don't know mm -hmm. next step will be. I don't know how. Mm -hmm. So I was so discouraged from there. Mm -hmm. And again, Corona came. So after Corona, the whole of 2020 went like that. I was just in Eldoret. Mm -hmm. Then in 2021, it was around uh, April, yes, after, after Easter. That's when he told me, there is one congregation in Nairobi mm -hmm. called Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. And I think... If you can talk to the vocation director mm -hmm. and explain yourself, mm -hmm. they can consider your application because you had already done the secondary school mm -hmm. and you have some additional documents. Mm -hmm. So he gave me the contact of the vocation director. By then, he was uh, Ndugu, Ndugu Mogire Dalmas, who is in, now in Kingero mm -hmm. and is now our vicar general currently. Mm -hmm. So I called him. I talked to him, I tried to explain my case to him. Actually, he was also inspired 
with the journey I went through. Mm-hmm. So he, he told me, as for now, I'm no longer the vocation director, but I have to give you the the, the contact of the one in charge. Mm-hmm. So he gave me the contact of uh, Ndogo Patrick Muga. Mm-hmm. Yes, he's now our... As for now, he's the one in charge of the vocations. Mm-hmm. Yes, and the formation team. So he gave me his contact. I talked to him and told me, brother, you can apply. It doesn't matter your status, yeah. either you are in the camp, mm-hmm. you are a refugee or not. Mm-hmm. Yes. So I applied. I came for come and see. That was in May 2021. From there, my passport by then was already expired. Mm-hmm. So I, I had to go back to Congo after four to five years now, since 2016. Mm-hmm. So I went back to Congo now in 2021. I found the situation was stable. The family members were all back. Thanks, yes, I don't I know where. To ask you about that. <laughs> yes, they were yeah. all back and okay. together. Mm-hmm. So I went to the immigration office, but it was a bit tricky to get the passport because the the COVID thing was still on. Mm-hmm. So I was asked to come back again. I was given a letter to come to the embassy here in Nairobi mm-hmm. to apply. So I came back. I applied the passport. From there, I called the vocation director. I told him now I have my passport, and from there I was admitted to the to the institute. Thank you very much. Franciscan missionaries of hope for living who you are, giving hope to the hopeless. Brother Dio, you also have a, a, your story, vocation, in a very, very yeah, I really, nutshell. I really make and it short. We, when we start discussing about vocation, yeah, then we can have... I really make have, it short. Yeah, but okay. uh, <laughs> maybe what I can say is that yeah. my, my vocation yeah. is a product of charity. Mm-hmm. And uh, I attribute this to my two wonderful diocesan priests, mm-hmm. my parish, my priest at my parish back then, when I was a little boy. Mm-hmm. Because when my when my father died, they took me in to pay my school fees. Then I was staying at the parish as I go to a nearby school, mm-hmm. funded by the church. Okay. So it is from there, you know, through our interactions that I can say my vocation was born mm-hmm. back then. So then I, I of course, as a, since my parish priest was a diocesan, he really wanted me to become a diocesan priest. Mm-hmm. So he, he, he made sure I applied to the diocese. Then uh, I was in the process of applying, that is back in 2013, when I met the vocations director then, of mm-hmm. the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. Then Brother Didas Biargaba, who had gone to Uganda on a holiday. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I met him, of course, he invited me to Nairobi for a come and see program. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I came, I had read as a young boy a, a little book about St. Francis. Mm-hmm. So when I came again, they told me about Francis. I saw how the, the Ndugus lived. Mm-hmm. I think Delson was touched, and when I went back in 2014, I, I decided to to, to join, to, join, to mm-hmm. come back. And, here and since are. then, that is my life. I'm here. <laughs> Thanks yeah. be to God. Mm-hmm. And you are still living and giving hope yes. to the hopeless. Yes. Uh, this program is Missions of Hope, and you are the Franciscan Missionaries, Missionaries of, of Hope. hope. Yes. So maybe now you can tell us what are those missions that you are involved in that give hope to the society in mm-hmm. your own style as the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope? Yeah, maybe mm-hmm. from, like we said from the very beginning, mm-hmm. Our identity, our unique identity, our charism is hope, Mm -hmm. giving hope. And when we come to the mission is how we, how do we exercise this hope out there? Mm -hmm. And like brothers Ndugu said, is that we accept and live the mystery of hope. Mm -hmm. In the end, it remains as a mystery. Then we live it amongst ourselves and then transmit it, extend it to the people of God, Mm -hmm. wherever we are in our missions. So the attitude of us giving hope, we we take on the attitude of hospitality. Mm -hmm. That is very important Mm -hmm. in all our missions. And we exercise that in parishes, we exercise exercise that in hospitals, Mm -hmm. in families, and in pastoral counseling centers. Mm 
So, so far, as a, of course, you don't do all at once. Yeah. There, there is always a development. Mm -hmm. So, so far we, we work in, in parishes mostly and in hospitals as, a, as hospital chaplains, mm -hmm. you know, but uh, we, we are also counselors. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, if you approach a missioner of hope for counseling, that is, that, that is our very charism. Mm -hmm. They'll do that. Mm -hmm. So that is how we, 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 we exercise hope mm -hmm. to the people out there, and that's where we are involved in, mm -hmm. in the mission. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Brother Jan Vier, can you add more on that? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. As Ndugu said, that's what we normally do. Mm -hmm. We are giving hope to the people outside there mm -hmm. because our co-founders were given hope when they came from Zambia, and, uh, and they were given also hospitality by the people around here, here in Langata, mm -hmm. and that's why even if there's nothing in our house, if you reach there, a cup of water or a glass of water can't miss. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have to, wait to make sure you feel comfortable at home and welcomed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Somebody comes to you and uh, he, he, he is hopeless. You want to understand this hope that we are talking about. You guys, you are the Franciscan missionaries of hope. What can you explain to a person of, with that kind of... What is hope, anyway, at the end of the day? Maybe, let me say... Yeah. Let's say, let me say that this hope, to begin with, is not just a vague feeling, mm -hmm. you know, to say that I'm hopeful or someone else is hopeless. Mm. This hope is trust, is belief that the goodness of God, the presence of God, you know, the mercy of God, the love of God is all around me and is all around us. Mm -hmm. In spite of the circumstances, mm -hmm. you know, the circumstances of life may suggest otherwise. That is common and that is true. Mm -hmm. But the hope is that being able to trust in spite of those circumstances. Mm -hmm. So as a Franciscan missionaries of hope, when we, when we say that our charism is hope, when we go out there, we want to show people from religious experience, you know, from the scripture and from the, from the life of Christ, mm -hmm. that Jesus' life itself was a life of giving hope. Mm -hmm. And wherever he went, he turned, the, wherever he went to either culture, to either society, he would turn their hatred into possibility. Mm -hmm. And that's why he says, the kingdom of God is upon me because he has anointed me, he has sent me to bring good news to the captives, mm -hmm. you know, liberty to free those who are captives, to bring healing to the sick. That is what we participate in, mm -hmm. to, 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 to demonstrate that even if the circumstances suggest otherwise, but history, humanity, is set on a, on a positive trajectory. Mm -hmm. We are heading somewhere good. Mm -hmm. In the end, things will be well. Mm -hmm. To give people reason to live on, yeah. you know, yeah. not with, withstanding the challenges that, that really surround them. Mm -hmm. You know, like when, when we talk of people suffering in, you know, in Palestine, you know, in Ukraine. Mm -hmm. So it is to, t to give them a reason, to give them a reason to live on mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Brother Dio. Brother Janvier, I am very sorry of what happened yes. about your life. And I can understand because I also, my family suffered from tribal clashes, mm -hmm. which was very common in the early 90s and what have you in Kenya, mm -hmm. I know what it means. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, I did not go out of, out, out of, the, of the country. Mm -hmm. uh, you ran away from your country for the safety of your life. You came to Kenya, you got uh, saved, like uh, the family of Egypt flying to, uh, uh, the family of Jesus, mm -hmm. Mary and Joseph flying to Egypt, mm -hmm. and they got uh, rescued. Is it very easy for you, you said you went back to Congo, to tell those people <laughs> that there is still hope, yeah, that one day all this fighting will, will, will cease. And 
how can you deal with that having experienced this and having been in Kenya for some time what can you say I'm sure some of your people are watching what can you say about that and giving them hope that one day this one will end and okay one of uh, our inspiring verse in in the bible is roman chapter 5 verse 5 mm -hmm. which says hope does not disappoint yeah and that is our motto as congregation i have it here okay. yes <laughs> oh it is there hope does hope not does not disappoint, disappoint. Hope does roman not disappoint. chapter 5 yeah. verse 5 okay hope does not disappoint, disappoint. yes mm -hmm. when when i went back to congo mm -hmm. in the year 2021 mm -hmm. people were not believing that i was alive so they were like surprised all along they knew you were yes. no longer from 2016 yeah. 17 18 mm -hmm. up to 2021 mm -hmm. after covid mm -hmm. they were like are you still alive because when i went from 2019 that's when i i had their contact after three years mm -hmm. so i called those years after three years i called and i told them where i am i am safe mm -hmm. so don't be worried about anything yeah. about me mm. so i went and they were happy to see me i went to the parish i explained my story that i want now to join because i was very inspired mm -hmm. the priest whom i was with him in in eldoret mm -hmm gave me actually hope actually it was the first one to give me hope that it is it is possible congratulations for the anthony maniki he yes. is my parishioner from mm -hmm. band forest, band forest. Mm -hmm. thank you for that and keep inspiring more young people i know he will watch this yes uh, congratulations for that mm -hmm. yeah so from there he encouraged me and uh, and explained everything to to my parish priest back at home mm -hmm. and they were telling me that those those groups of rebels they were they were able to to go back to the forest and uh, the government was trying to call them to come out the forest mm -hmm. and if they want to join the the army they can join or or if they don't want they can just be like uh, other citizens mm -hmm. so from 2021 up to now as we talk our area has been in peace mm -hmm. yes okay. i think it is through many prayers through the intercession of our blessed anwarite mm -hmm. is from congo blessed bakanja mm -hmm. i think through the intercession mm -hmm. even if we are some areas are still having wars in especially in the eastern side mm -hmm. goma butembo masisi mm -hmm. beni mm -hmm. but yeah to all, in all we, god is always good okay yes Can you face that camera and give them word of hope in French? In French. <laughs> yes. <laughs> in French. Oh, so as as for now actually. <laughs> Or oh, they don't know French. Sincerely speaking. Yeah. French has become a problem to me. Okay. Sometimes I forgot okay, say it some in words. Swahili. Yes. In Swahili, yes. <laughs> in Swahili maybe I can say. Mm -hmm. Katika maisha na kama Mkristo kitu cha kwanza tunapojua ni ile tu kumtumainia Mwenyezi Mungu. Neno ya ambayo tu aliandika hiyo tundo aliyozanga kuandikia. So hiyo pia ikakuwa ika kama ni ni motisha kwao ya kuwafanya waendelee kuishi kama ndugu na from there shirika sasa hii imegrow tuko na mapadri wengi tuko na ma, tuko na na brothers ambao pia wako under formation mm -hmm. e na kila wakati tunapokea watu kutoka kila mahali okay. ukiapply mm -hmm. uki meet requirements mm -hmm. no matter wewe ni refugee kama mimi ama hapana bado unapewa hiyo hope okay yes there is hope because these guys lives in hope they have seen it they have experienced it they are living it and they remember mm -hmm. yeah. hope does not disappoint and hope does not disappoint. disappoint yes we are coming back after a short break because we shall continue telling you again and again 
Hope does not disappoint and the brothers in the studio are encouraging us. Are you disappointed? How has the year begun for you? Do you see yourself like, oof, umwaka, tasijui, nandiyo tutu meanza. Please, hope does not disappoint. Do not go away. We are coming back shortly for our last segment, Missions of Hope. Puchin TV Ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Weli Weli ni baraka Weli ni baraka ntoka kwa Mungu Weli Weli ni baraka Endelea kutazama Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Happy New Year out with the old in with the new my name is Azia Nasenya also known as Cecilia from Pink Ladies Red Brenda and I'm playing the role of Stephanie Pascal Tukodi and I play Charles on Pink Ladies and I want to wish you the very best this year may this new year bring you new opportunities new goals Panaka Barak new success and may all your dreams come true and I wish you all the best in 2024 I do pray that this year all your dreams manifest Happy New Year A Happy New Year to no apena nyote Keep it locked on Pink Ladies. Continue checking Pink Ladies on Starter. Have an amazing 2024. Capuchin TV. Forward ever, backward never. Let us move ahead and so on. Even children, kuna kakitu tunaweza kufanya. Ili kanisa iweze kumeta meta. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho Katoliki Welcome back, dear viewer, uh, for this great conversation with the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. And now we are into our last segment. And uh, Brother Dio, somebody has watched, has admired, has liked, and he feels like he wants to join the Franciscan Missionaries of, of Hope. What are the qualifications? What do you, does your congregation require one to have to join you people? So first of all, the, let me say that the, the formation goes through stages. Mm -hmm. And the, for our case as Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, we have the aspirancy, we have the postulancy, we have the novitiate, mm -hmm. then we have the simple profession and the perpetual profession. Mm -hmm. So when, when uh, like anybody, or a young boy, or an old person, you know, wants to join the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, first of all, there are requirements. Like for our case, you have to be between 18 to 29 years of age. Mm -hmm. And uh, you must have obtained the minimum requirement for the university entry mm -hmm. from your country. Okay. or from wherever you studied from, if it is Kenya, Uganda, mm -hmm. but at least you've, required, you've, you've attained the minimum grade mm -hmm. for, the, for the university entry. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, you, you, you have to do an application to the, through the, the Office of the Vocations Director, and Brother Kagayo will share the details of the Vocations Director. Mm -hmm. Then when you, you are invited, or when, when after you apply, when it is received, mm -hmm. the Vocations Director will respond to you. Mm -hmm. And when the Vocations Director responds to you, he journeys with you through that period of aspirancy. Mm -hmm. the, the length of that period is not 
is not constant. Mm. It's not a, a definite period. Like okay. you can say it is one year. It depends on how one is responding, mm. you know, mm. to, to the call. Mm -hmm. And uh, that period primarily is meant for you to discern because at least at the, at the bare minimum, you know that you want to join the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. But for most of us at that stage, we haven't answered the question, why? Mm -hmm. Why do you want to join the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope? Mm. And so the vocations director will journey with you and help you to answer that question. Mm -hmm. Then when he feels that you are, you are responding positively, he will call you to Nairobi sometimes to, for a come and see program, mm -hmm. which is always for one week, and they, they do here in, in Langata, mm -hmm. in our house here. And the come and see program is also very important because, you know, we always say that the, a saint is the one who has ever seen one. A, a Christian, saint? a saint hmm. is the one who has ever seen one. Okay. Why do, why do I say that? Mm. When you see a person of, of mature qualities, the whole thing is contagious. Mm. You will never want to settle for less yeah. anymore in your life. Yeah. And I think that is the purpose of come and see. Mm. So that you come and see how brothers live. Yeah. Then you clarify to yourself that this is the life I want to live. Mm -hmm. So when you do the, the come and see program, and then you, 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 are, you, are, you are invited to come for postulancy, which takes, which takes one year, and then in it you also deepen your knowledge of, the, of religious life. You get to live the, the community experience with people from different backgrounds. Then after one year, then you, you, you go to the novitiate, mm -hmm. where you continue to deepen that experience and to pray more, to understand more your life. And then at the end of the novitiate, which also takes one year, you take your simple vows. Mm -hmm. yeah. Then you, of course, you, you, you renew three times before you, you take your perpetual vows. Okay. Yes. Does that mean that uh, wherever you are, in whichever country you are, you have to come to Kenya for initial formation or yes. you do it out, out of Kenya? Currently, mm. our formation is concentrated in Kenya. Okay. So from wherever, if, if you are received, if you are allowed to join the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, you'll have to travel to Kenya mm -hmm. and do the formation here. Okay. Mm. Thank you very much. Anything else you feel like he has not tackled on the same issue we can add? Everything has been mentioned. Mm. It's only every brother in our community is a vocational promoter. Mm -hmm. It's wherever you go or wherever you are, your first assignment is to, is to promote vocation. Mm -hmm. so even that the priests. Yes, <laughs> either the priests or, yes, or... Somebody or, uh, proposed for you. Franciscan missionaries of hope. Yeah. Yes, okay. mm -hmm. actually, it is like that. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, what is the? Do you have the contact, or the you can shout out so that uh, whoever is following and would wish to join the Franciscan missionaries of hope can either call for more clarification or to yes, understand our, more about your congregation. The contact is there. Mm -hmm. We are uh, first on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You can uh, watch our our videos. Just search Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, Lake Community, uh, there on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Also on Facebook, mm -hmm. Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, Lake Community. You can write an application, either handwritten or through email, mm -hmm. vdirectorfmh at gmail.com. Yes, v, vdirectorfmh at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And also to the vocation director number, Phone number it is zero seven <coughs> six nine one three three eight two one. Please repeat. Zero seven six nine one three three eight two one. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And before I forget, maybe somebody is asking why I like community? Because it's not the short name of Franciscan missionaries of hope. But you say it commonly known as the like community. Like, 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 
or what is no. <laughs> L Y K. K. Okay, <coughs> what is that? What is it about your, your congregation? So, mm. when our when our brothers 1992 and 1993, when they left OFM, some by their own will and some asked to leave, mm -hmm. and then they decided to to stay together as they figure their particular but their their collective life mm -hmm. out. So they were helped by one father, Andre McGrath who was then the, the principal of uh, Tangaza University College. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> him, together with other well-wishers, decided to assist them as they stayed together and uh, discern their life. Mm -hmm. So Father Andre McGrath, before he came to Kenya, you know, to, to work in Kenya, he was in the United States. Okay. And he had been... He had been the, the, the one who had, who, had, who, had, who had been writing homilies for Archbishop like. Okay. So they were friends. Mm -hmm. So in 1998 is when Archbishop like came to visit Father Andre McGrath in Kenya. Okay. So of course, as uh, Father Andre McGrath, who was you know, spiritually directing these young brothers, friars, he, he had to, to introduce him. To, to the brothers. Okay. And uh, when uh, Archbishop Peter, Peterson like met the brothers, he gave them so much encouragement. Mm -hmm. You know, he gave them hope. He was a sign of hope to them that they never forgot him. Mm -hmm. So later in life, when they were thinking of the name to call the, 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 their community, mm -hmm. when the idea came up of coming up with a congregation, mm -hmm. and they were thinking of which name do we call it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was becoming absolutely necessary. Okay. So they had to, they, they, the first thing was let us call ourselves like community okay. after the late Archbishop Peterson like. Okay. So of course then later when, when, when they began writing the first draft of our constitutions, they, they, they came up with the name of Franciscan Missionaries of Hope, as the brother explained, but then they, they retained in brackets the like community. Okay. Yes, in remembrance mm. of, our, of Peterson like as our inspirator. Okay. Yes. Thank you very much, brother Dearson, 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 it's a hard name, uh, uh, for explaining and elaborating more on why like community. And as we are coming to the close of the program, maybe there is something that you heard when you heard that I'm going to Captain Studio, something that you needed to tell the viewers and maybe I have not asked, you can now say it as we come uh, to the closing remark uh, of our program today. Thank you. Everything has been mentioned and uh, I've been said. It is only to encourage young people like me. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you feel to join a religious life or if you want to join us, the doors are always open, feel free. Here in Kenya, the requirement is C plus, as we all know. Yeah. C plus. Mm. If you have C plus, baptized and confirmed, you you can apply through the email I I just read, or you, you can apply and bring your your application letter to our mother house in Langata, Nairobi, physically, mm -hmm. and you and you will be accepted. And one thing we have to know is that hope does not disappoint. Really. Mm -hmm. I'm a living testimony of that one. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hope does not disappoint. As long as you, you trust in God, everything is possible. Sure. Yes. Thank you very much, Brother Janvier. Mm -hmm. I hope I'm pronouncing it as it's supposed to be. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yes, Brother Dearson. Yes. Maybe what I can say is that, okay, from my experience, nobody reads the life of St. Francis and does not want to become a Franciscan. Yes. I think, sister, you can testify yeah, to sure, that. Sure, sure, yeah. So, mine is to say that uh, wherever we are, our dear viewers, our people, 
let's let's encourage more people to to join religious life but also to to become franciscans because i feel i feel it's 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 a good life mm -hmm. and then let me say that uh, mm -hmm. dear viewers wherever you are whatever situation you are passing through you know as a missionary of hope but also as a christian you know I want to say that uh, there is hope, whatever the challenge. Mm -hmm. Just to know, and I, I am telling you from here, that the love of God remains tenacious. The love of God remains abundant. The love of God reaches out and remains constant. Mm -hmm. So this, your situation changes. Actually, in the end, everything changes mm. because we say that change is the only constant in life. Yeah. So everything in the end changes. Mm -hmm. So except God, God alone he, is he unchanging. Change, yes. So your situation is not permanent. Mm -hmm. you, you have to hope, you know, believe, notwithstanding the contrary data that suggests otherwise. Okay. And that's why we are here. That's why we are proclaiming hope. So young people, come and join the missionaries of hope. I am sorry. Uh, you know, most of the congregation that I address here, they do not have the privilege of having their founders alive. You people, your founders are alive, and maybe they are watching this program. All of them. <laughs> I cannot finish <laughs> without telling you, what can you tell them in the studio as the viewers listen? To our co-founders, the four of them, actually, I'm lucky because I've met all of them, mm -hmm. the four of them, okay. Francis Kamau, Ndugu Nicholas, John Basim, and Joges. All of them have met them. Mm -hmm. So, I want to them is that it's only God who will repay them. And we are here, I can say we are here today, we are putting on brown today, we are calling ourselves missionaries of hope. It is because of them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Maybe right. mm -hmm. what I can say to our beloved founders mm -hmm. who are alive and I know they are either watching or will later watch this program is that uh, to truly let them know that uh, they are a sign of hope to the world. They are a sign of perseverance, resilience. So us as young brothers, the Franciscan missionaries of hope, and the entire world, when, when we look at your journey, where you came from, and where you are now, we, we believe in hope. And we, we know that uh, all things are possible through Christ for those who believe. So we really thank you, and we, 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 we appreciate what you've become and what you continue to be for the church and for the missionaries of hope. Thank you. Thank you very much, Brother Janvier and Dison, for coming and taking your time to come and talk about yourself. And as I, I told you, there is someone who was asking for the Franciscan brothers. They have come, they have explained, they have expressed themselves. And in a special way, it's great to be talking to the founders of the congregation. I am privileged to be talking to you, the co-founders of the Franciscan Missionaries of Hope. May the good Lord who began this work in you bring it to fulfillment and dear viewer we are now coming to the end of our program today this has been missions of hope with our sister esther moturi and in the studio i was with brother jan vier and brother dison from the franciscan missions of hope until next tuesday it's bye for now god bless you Capuchin TV. Ni bara kanto ka kwa mungu. Weli, weli, ni mara. Weli, ni bara kanto ka kwa mungu. Weli, weli, ni mara.
kuendelea kutazama Kapuchin TV. Kitambulisha